What's happening, team? Um, just going to run you through the uh, program. All right, so the program is a guide. Um, if you're not up to training five days a week, don't. Train for two, three, whatever is the best of your abilities. Whatever you can do, do. Um, definitely pick workouts from here. If you can't follow all of them, that's fine. Then again, like as always, get in touch with us. Let us know if you um, can't do exercises or you've got some sort of limitations or um, you haven't got the equipment. Let us know. There's always a way around it. All right, so there's no excuse. Um, so just to start off with, this is the one that's going to get people the most. So just at the bottom of your program, you'll find um, the RPE level. So this is your rate of perceived exertion. So this, this is the amount of effort you put into that exercise. So this is a good way of tracking how, um, uh, how much effort you're putting in and sticking to the recommended um, level per exercise, which you'll find in the program. So it goes from anywhere from, so level one, you're pretty much not doing much. Um, I'm watching TV and eating ice cream. That's not exerting yourself, okay? So that's the type of, that's that's the amount of exertion, the level. So if you're, say, you're going for a run and, you know, you're cruising, you're running, you're having a chat, or even you walk, say walking, you're going for a walk with some friends and you're walking along and you can chat quite comfortably, you're not really exerting. So if you're breathing a little bit heavier, so that would be about a level three, okay? So that's the kind of idea. And then for, um, and then say if you pick that up for a minute and you're, you can still talk easily, but you'll, yeah, and, and if you're like breathing a bit heavier, but you can still chat, that's where you'd be about a level, about a level five or maybe level six. So that's the kind of idea, that's the amount of exertion you're putting into that exercise. So that's, that's the idea with the RPE levels. So, um, yeah, so I'll go through just the first the cardio session. Okay, so with the cardio session, this is where those RPE levels come into effect. Okay, so first one is what we're gonna do, interval training. All right, so interval training. So pick your weapon, whatever um, cardio equipment you want. This is where you can go for a walk. You can um, go on the treadmill, you can bike, you can row, you can do use the assault bike, elliptical, whatever you want. Doesn't matter, that's, that's irrelevant. Pick whatever one you like, and we'll do that. So. This is where, so for a minute, as it goes under work minute, you're gonna work at a level five um, RPE level. So that means that you're gonna be working a little bit harder, you can still talk, but you're just breathing a little bit heavier, but you can still chat, all right? So remember to stick to those RPE levels as best as you can. Try not to overexert yourself, because then you're not gonna get through, or you're gonna find the rest of the workout quite difficult. Um, so that you work for a minute, and then your rest three minutes, so you're still going, is at a two to three um, RPE level. So that's very minimal, you know? That's literally above sitting on the couch eating ice cream. So <laughs> you're not exerting yourself too much. You're just recovering, just cruising, just cruising. So you do that for three minutes, and then once that three minutes is up, boom, back onto the minute. Work a bit harder, work a bit harder for that minute, and you're gonna repeat that for seven to 10 rounds. So that's one option. Same thing for all the different options here. So um, wh however you're feeling on the day, you feel like you really wanna push yourself, go option three. So that's a 20 second work at an eight to nine RPE. So that means you're sprinting. You're working hard. If we refer back to our RPE level, eight is I can grunt in response to your questions and can only keep up this pace for a short time period. Nine is I'm probably gonna die. So that's just really pushing hard. So that's the idea. So that's why it's only 20 second work because you're putting max effort in, going as hard as you can for that 20 seconds. And then for the 80 seconds, you're gonna bring it back down and you get back to three to five. So just, you know, back to cruising. You can still, you can have a chat once you've recovered enough and um, yeah, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, and just, so, for the, so that's the cardio. You just pick one of them, one option. If you're feeling, I don't know, if you're feeling good and you've got time, go for it, go for many. But remember, we're going for 12 weeks, not 12 days, so they're trying to burn yourself out too quick. Next is fat loss and endurance. Um, so this is these are different targets you're going for. So depending on your goal, if you want to put on muscle, um, depending on your scan, is a good, good target. So if you're, you're in that C range, 
you definitely want to... Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, you got three different categories. So, fat loss is in like an endurance, so it's low, low weight, high reps. That's where you work hard and very minimal rest. So, 30 seconds rest max between sets. Where you want to put on some muscle, um, the hypertrophy um, area, so that the method of training is um, medium medium uh, reps, so eight to 12 reps, and about 75% um, or 70% of your one rep max. Next is the strength training, so that's just, and then you've got about 90 seconds rest for that one, so it's a bit more rest, but not too much. Next is the strength, so that's the five to eight rep range, so that's where you're trying to build strength power. That's um, that's pretty much how you work. So five to eight reps, three to four sets, and that's where you want to like your about eighty percent, um, eighty percent, eighty five percent of your one rep max. So um, I'll go over how to find your one rep max um, later. It's an app, super easy. Download it, type your stats in, and then yeah. So um, and with the strength, you have a little bit more rest. But that's pretty much. So you're gonna pick one of these options and do that for your session, okay? So with the warm up, session, cool down, stretching, that's it, all right? This shouldn't take too long. These sessions should really only take, um, get in, get it done, even with stretching and stuff, about 40 minutes, if that. So you've got time. Don't give me otherwise, all right? Um, lastly, hit. Okay, so the hit session, this is where um, you set yourself up a little circuit, um, pretty much all you need is a timer. Again, there's plenty of apps that will help you out. Um, you set the timer 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest with a five round. So that will repeat five rounds. Have like a one minute break in between the rounds, okay, if you need. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just set your equipment up. Most of these, all of these are just body weight, so you don't need any equipment. You just need a timer and go. That's it. All right. Um, that's about it, folks. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. If you've got any questions, definitely hit me up. Let me know. And that's about it. All right. Let's do this.